From losing weight to networking or just being entertained, it seems there's an app for everything. Now an Aussie couple has come up with one to help relationships. It's called We Sync, and it lets couples document their feelings in their phone. App developer Giovanni Deinstman and his wife CP have fights like all couples. So Giovanni decided to create an app to help. I can see how am I going in my relationship. I can see how the relationship is for my partner. And then I can also create a moment. I'd say that I'm feeling good because she prepared delicious food for me. I'm going to give her two brownie points because that's great. You make a reward or present for your partner. The more points you get, the closer you are to the reward. There's also the moods feature, where I see how I'm feeling and how my partner is feeling. I can simply ask her, how are you? And see analytics about the relationship. Oh, she had a tough day. I should get her something. Got you some sushi. Thank you. You get two points for her. Both say it's helped their relationship and they're now sharing it free with the public. These small moments would just pile up and become a bigger issue. So yeah, now it's not that anymore. We have been married for five years and it, it became obvious by time like how much the small things that are said, the small things that are done or not done, how much it matters, how much it influences how we feel about our relationship. And just, just using this tool to always be on top of that has been great for us. So can an app really solve your relationship woes? Let's bring in expert Tamara Makaya. Tamara, good morning. Uh, what do you think of this as an idea? Communication definitely is the glue that holds relationships together. That and sex. So any device that helps to open those lines of communication is a really valuable asset. That said, I believe the most healthy relationships are those where both people in the relationship are actually doing loving gestures on a regular basis and spoiling each other for no particular reason. Okay regardless of whether they're happy or sad, also taking the time to make a conscious effort into really understanding what's going on for your partner. Okay, so talking and sex are the foundations for a good relationship. Um, you have some tips for communication. Start sentences with, I feel, instead of you make me feel. Yeah. Scheduling time to connect, I suppose that's the SEX bit. Uh, ask for what you want and use the love sandwich approach. Now, just tell me about this love sandwich. Is it so, okay for this time of day? <laughs> it is, absolutely. Okay. So what you do is you give the positive, so a compliment to start off with, then yeah. you deliver the feedback and you end on a positive. So it might look something like, you know, I really appreciate that you did the dishes for me today. I noticed that there was a little bit of gunk on the plates. Perhaps you could rinse them next time, but thank you so much because it saved me so much time. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, so how, how do you actually go? It's all fun to say schedule connecting time time but how do you actually do that? You make sure that it's a priority so just like we make time to go to the gym we have set hours for work we actually make our relationship that priority because it's our relationships that nourish us and that filters, filters out into all areas of our life it's what makes us happy and healthy. So you sort of build it into your diary do you? Absolutely, because why would you ever mm. want to not have your relationship as your priority when that's the person that essentially you're probably going to spend the most time with? Yep, yep. I agree. Right. Wednesday night's a big one for us. Good advice. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. Pleasure, thank you. Good advice there.